So without wasting time, let's start the video. I am going to demonstrate the ultrasound guided twin one block for hip fracture analgesia. Why twin one? Because it has technical and anatomical advantages. Here we are blocking two nerves, lateral femoral cutaneous nerve of thigh and the femoral nerve through a single needle entry point. The LFCN is blocked here directly whereas the femoral nerve is blocked either directly or indirectly via the infrainguinal fascia iliaca block. For this block, the patient lies supine and the ipsilateral leg is kept extended at hip and knee joints. The inguinal crease, anterior superior iliac spine, pubic tubercle and the inguinal ligament serve important landmarks here. A high frequency linear transducer, 80 to 150 millimeter, 22 gauge short bevel ecogenic nerve block needle is used for this block. 22 to 23 gauge spinal needle can be used as an alternative. Long acting local anesthetic like bupivacaine or levovacaine or ropivacaine can be used for this block with or without adjuvants. I personally use 20 to 30 mils of 0.2% ropivacaine with 4 to 8 milligrams of dexamethasone as an adjuvant. Scanning involves identification of the lateral femoral cutaneous nerve and the femoral nerve in the same plane. In lateral to medial direction, you will identify the LFCN first and then if you move the probe medially, you will be able to identify the femoral nerve next to the femoral artery. On medial to lateral scanning, you can identify the femoral nerve next to femoral artery and then on moving the probe towards the lateral side, you will be able to identify the LFCN. I have already uploaded a detailed video on scanning technique of femoral and LFCN nerves using inguinal crease as the starting point. I will provide the link on i button and in the description of this video. Before watching the block video, let's understand the technique of twin one with this simple schematic. Please note the position and the structures around the fascia lata and fascia iliaca. The femoral nerve lies deep to both fascia lata and fascia iliaca, whereas the ellipsian lies deep to fascia lata but superficial to the fascia iliaca. The local anesthetic deposited in the infrainguinal fascia iliaca compartment may not block the ellipsian. First, we are targeting the ellipsian directly and then the needle is advanced and the local anesthetic is deposited between the fascia iliaca and the epimysium of the iliopsoas muscle. The local anesthetic will travel medially along the fascia iliaca compartment and block the femoral nerve. Alternatively, you can advance the needle tip just lateral to the femoral nerve and deposit the local anesthetic. The ultrasound probe is placed just below the inguinal ligament medial to the anterior superior iliac spine. The needle entry point is from lateral to medial in implant technique near the anterior superior iliac spine. After piercing the fascia lata, 5 to 10 mils of local anesthetic is deposited to block the ellipsian. Then the needle is advanced medially to place the tip between the fascia iliaca and the epimysium of the iliopsoas muscle. 15 to 20 mils of local anesthetic is deposited here. On injection of the local anesthetic, iliosus muscle will be pushed posteriorly. The second injection can be performed at the infrainguinal fascia leca compartment or you can advance the needle tip further medially towards the femoral nerve and deposit the local anesthetic there. Sometimes you might see two divisions of the femoral nerve after injection of the local anesthetic. This is a good technique for beginners in ultrasound guided blocks who may be requiring the hand-eye coordination 
and are afraid of nerve injuries or local anesthetic systemic toxicity those who are not comfortable with blocks like ping or supraguinal fascia iliaca they can at least perform this block to provide analgesia for hip fracture patients that's all for today thanks for watching catch you in the next video until then keep blocking keep rocking